Welcome to another how-to video. My name is Dave Davis, CTO of DVS. Uh, fresh off that trip back from China, what a fantastic place. Learned some fantastic technologies and solutions. Uh, made some great friends. So this video is kindly sponsored by Seagate. Um, today we're going to take a look at the VS Player. This is the VS Player is the software that we use to input our videos and do the playback, clipping, merging and now privacy masking and uh, de-warping and a host of other functionality so stay tuned hope you like it uh, we've got some great videos coming up some new technologies some new hardware some new software uh, so definitely definitely keep subscribing keep notifying yourself uh, when new content goes live if you've got any questions contact us here or comment underneath the video and we'll do our best to get back as soon as we can other than that thanks for all the support you've given us so far and keep on going all that remains to do is now move into the video We're going to take a look at the standalone VS player. Uh, this new VS player has been uh, incorporated into the Hype Central client already, but this standalone one we've taken out allows you to do some privacy masking. So if you've got uh, a video you need to submit for evidence and you need to mask off, say, a doorway or a vehicle or an area um, that you need to, you know, actually remove that detail um, with all the data protection acts these days is a really useful function. Um, what we can't quite do yet is do like the dynamic face tracking where we can mask a face and as they're walking or driving uh, vehicles through the scene that it'll keep the privacy mask tracked on that. It's something I've asked them to work on. I'm sure it won't be too long before we get there. But for now, the basic video masking is incorporated and works really well. So just a quick run through from it. So I'll take the zim house. Uh, we're going to open up the VS player. Larger. We're going to import our video. So this special version, I'll show you now. Uh, let me just go to and open up the file that I put it in. Uh, the face there. Um, if we go to about, you've got the version and build number there. That's the one that has it in. Like I said, it's the same one as in High Central. What we can do is obviously you've got the standard functions. If we double click, it'll play that. Um, video clip of me entering the demo room but what we are going to do is we're going to delete that we're going to go down to the toolbox and among all the other really strong functions within it there's a new one called privacy mask so we'll select privacy mask we'll open the same clip And what we'll do, you'll see here, you've got the timeline across there, and then you've got add or remove privacy mask, as well as encrypting. So if you export as an AVI, you can't encrypt this file. If you export it as a Hypevision stream, you can actually put a password in there, which means when you go to open it again in VS Player, you need to input the password. So we'll change the save destination, desktop, VS Player. We'll, well, yeah, we'll just save it in there, that's fine. What we're gonna do now is add a privacy mask. So say this is our window or we got a door there so we can add a privacy mask across this window. Now, those amongst you will realize I'm probably not the best person at drawing, but we get the desired effect. And we can also mask off, uh, say this doorway here, Could be an entrance to say somebody else's house okay that will do say my drawing skills aren't the best but there we go so we can input a password i'm going to just put one two three four five six one two three four five six and we're going to begin the export process so click on export it'll give us a, a percentage we'll just wait that to go up Okay, export succeeded, click OK, close that down. And if we open up that same file, which is this one, I believe. What's the time now? 13, 32, yeah, it's that one. So if we open that one, we've got to input the password, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. There we go. So now we're placed. So you've got the two 
masking areas done so you'll see me coming into the demo room now so again not only can we encrypt it we can obviously uh, video mask areas off now like I said we will work on the dynamic face and vehicle tracking for instance so it's not trying to draw it frame by frame on a person is very very difficult as you can imagine and that you've got all your standard settings on there other than that, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, hopefully that's really powerful and you'll see a good use for this. Um, say if you need any more information, just give us a shout here at DVS. We're happy to talk about it technically or from a sales point of view. Don't forget, keep liking and subscribing for content as we do it on a weekly basis. Uh, thanks for watching, all your support as always. See you next week.